Buongiorno da Torino. I'm in this beautiful city in the Piemont region because I want to show you the secrets and the culture behind one of the most famous Italian products, the coffee. And why did I choose Turin for my episode? It's because beside the city Trieste, uh, Turin is very famous for its coffee houses. They, there are a lot of ancient and traditional coffee houses. Turin has a very long history of, cof uh, of coffee. And one of the reasons is because in 1885, Luigi Lavazza founded the today famous coffee brand Lavazza. And everything started with his little grocery store in the Via San Tommaso 10. And all over the years, Lavazza was becoming the Italian market leader for coffee products. Yesterday, they opened their new headquarter called La Nuvola, the cloud. And there is an integrated interactive museum, uh, a gourmet restaurant, also a slow food bistro. And I want to, to show you this new place, to discover it together with you. But before we, we will go there, we will go inside um, the former grocery store. Today it's a bar and a restaurant, run by Lavazza, of course. And also to talk to some Italian people and discover the secret behind the Italian culture of coffee. inside the Lavazza's birthplace and usually you drink your espresso at the bar. A point for socializing, um, you can talk to other people, you can read the newspaper. Um, it's also for making, or most of the Italians want to have a little break here. They want to enjoy their espresso and it's not typical to drink, for example, a cappuccino in the afternoon. They say only tourists are doing it. And so we will now taste the delicious coffee from Lavazza. Buono. These are the coffee beans they are using to prepare the coffee. Yeah. And it tastes, um, they are made out of dried fruits, um, cocoa. Nuts. Nuts, Nuts, exactly. And also this one, kappa forest, uh, aromatic notes of dates, uh, okay. uh, cherries, and um, milk and chocolate. So you're blending it, mixing yeah, it together. Yeah, mixing it together. We have uh, a balanced, very balanced cup with um, uh, very aromatic notes of uh, uh, typical of uh, Ethiopian coffee and the body of a high uh, altitude of this coffee, the okay. of Guatemala. Hmm? Ah. How, how many espressos do you make during the day? You know that? Ah, maybe uh, hmm, 600. 600? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. For 5 kilo, 5, 6 kilo a day. And what does coffee mean to you? Hmm. It's my passion, it's my life. It's I your life. That, yeah. So even if you're serving 600 coffees per day, you can uh -huh. still drink. Uh, uh, see, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I can't serve it anymore. <laughs> and yeah. and um, how many cups of coffee do you drink during the uh, day? During the day, not uh, not, uh, not too much. Uh, not too much. Mm, not too much. Uh, okay. Uh, mm, about ten. I, we love coffee. It's, we. It's your passion. Yeah. That's why you're working yeah, yeah. here at La uh, Mazza. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They are roasting the coffee beans yeah. and put them inside uh, the structure. Yeah. This is the forest coffee coming yeah. inside. From Ethiopia. And pressing it. Pressing it. Tamping. Okay. Hmm? Another flush. Okay. Okay. Hmm? And then pressing the hot water. Yeah. Through the coffee powder, powder. Yeah. 
into the cups with a lot of pressure. Yeah. But that's how uh, good Italian espresso is yeah. made. And then it yeah. gets it's freshly okay. to the customer. Okay. Are you happy? Sei contento? Thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. You like it? The taste of this coffee, Arabic, is very nice. Okay. <laughs> and how, how, how often do you come here for drinking coffee? About two to times, two, twice a day. mean for you to, to have uh, an espresso? Espresso is uh, Italian lifestyle. Without an espresso, an Italian can't begin uh, a day. I drink about maybe eight, eight? morning. Yes. And you can still sleep? In, in, oh, I, I, in I doesn't wake up <laughs> if, if I don't drink a, a, a good coffee. Uh, before I open my eyes, I drink a coffee. You drink a coffee? <laughs> Just to have the energized to go on with the day. Ah, okay. Then uh, with a with a friend around ten o'clock in the morning. Ten o'clock. Okay. It's uh, a ritual to share an okay. emotion with the other people. Huh? You talk about everything you want. Okay. Cars, women. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a point of social interaction. Sure, sure, at sure. At the banco, the bar. Yeah. For me, in particular, that I'm Sicilian. Ah, okay. The best way to share coffee is in the same cup. If I have a, a friend, if you have take too much coffee, you share with him. And what do you think about uh, to drink a cappuccino in the afternoon? A cappuccino is for the tourist, for me. What does it mean for you um, to have an espresso together? <laughs> to take a moment of relax, have a rest, uh, peaceful moment. Usually you take it for a break from what you do, for example, when you study, you take a break, you take a coffee, you take some energy. And how long should this uh, break last, maximum? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Why do you take it al barca, so at the bar and uh, al banco and not, uh, you don't sit down? Because it's cheaper. A trick for a good coffee <laughs> is that when you put the sugar, into it, it has to go slowly. Slowly down, down to the bottom. To the bottom, yes. Okay, thank you for this great tip. <laughs> You're welcome. I just have left the coffee bar in Via San Tommaso Dieci. It was a great experience. Um, Stefania was so gentle and showed me uh, which coffee beans they are using, how to prepare um, a proper Italian espresso. And then she even invited me to, to join them tonight at their booth at the coffee festival of Turin. Um, it's, the, it's the first time this coffee festival is taking place this weekend. And that's perfect for my little documentation. And so we will go there directly after we have visited the new Lavazza headquarter. Here we are. Uh, sorry for the noise, you may hear it. Uh, Someone is selling watermelons. Meloni belli. Anyway, five euros. Um, behind me, that's the Nuvola, the new headquarter of Lavazza that uh, opened yesterday. And now we will go and have a look inside the museum and also into the and also the, the slow food bistro. I'm not the only one that wants to see the new headquarter. Um, I hope I can show you now inside this interactive museum a bit more about the history uh, especially of Italian coffee and the different types of coffee drinks. Let's go and have a look. Okay. <laughs> 
per una, c'è una conferenza per il ristorante, mi dicevi? Sì, il Perché ristorante, il museo. Non sapeva dove okay. andare, non so se puoi Dove aiutare. siete andate, andati voi? So, I made it to the inside the park and I was also inside the headquarter and but they told me that I need like a press pass or you had to to pre-book your ticket I have seen that online actually but it was already booked out and now I said with my camera I'm from the press and they told me you need a, a press pass and now I'm I'm looking for getting such a, a pass I hope they will not throw me out of the building and ma mi hanno detto che ma ancora è stata scusa I hope this ends without the police buonasera Stefania come stai? coffee has always been in the Italian culture very important look how fast she's drinking it's so hot 